Hello there people, I hope you are doing well. Greetings to everyone, Nuno here. So, um, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, Apple today, the 18th of February, released the Beta 3 of macOS Mojave, so 10.14.4, okay? The Beta 3. Uh, almost two weeks apart from the Beta 2. So, let's go ahead, let's, you know, take this uh, out of the way and then we'll speak about the bugs that I had and what is new on this release. So the build number for this um, beta 3, you can see also the specs of my machine if you want to compare compare with yours. So is the 18E194D, okay? This is the build number for this release. Regarding the amount that is required to download this beta it is almost the same you know as the previous ones it's on this system it's 2.5 gigabytes okay now let's go ahead and take this out of the way also i know some of you like to see it some of you don't but i also always like to compare the synthetic kick bench uh, of my system you know uh, beta after beta so this is beta uh, uh, the CPU results and this is let me check here okay over here and this is beta 3 as you can see no major difference at all uh, keep in mind I just installed you know this beta 3 about you know 50 minutes ago so perhaps it will be increase a little it will increase a little bit but well but nothing major and this you know uh, this is these are you know synthetic uh, benchmarks regarding the gpu performance on the previous beta so the beta 2 these were the results and on this one these are the results so they are a little bit uh, lower than beta 2 but we have to wait okay and see uh, if this improves or not okay i'll keep you posted if ne necessary uh, on a further video now let's go ahead here to see you know the release notes uh, for this 10.14.4 and you know um, this as always i told you this on beta one this is about apple news for canada allowing you for canadian canadian mac users to access you know mac stories in french english or both i'm still here waiting in portugal for apple news we don't, we don't have that and this update also includes support for safari out of field using touch id so for you guys that have macbook pros with touch id good for you you can you know enable uh, the out of field with that touch id also, and this is important because we have the dark mode, okay? This is nice. I always use dark mode, but one of the things that things that annoys me is that in fact when you open a safari web browser uh, a web browser in safari, sorry, uh, it always it is always, you know, always well some of them at least for the websites that I use, they are always, you know, white and that's you know uh, not good for the eyes but uh, you know what what they uh, are telling that uh, it will be uh, activated automatically you know of course this is not yet uh, implemented i have a demo here that i will show you so you when, when you open a safari um, a web browser okay a page it will automatically you know change for dark mode as you can see here on this example this will be nice of course i have i have uh, um, an app that all uh, already does this so if i go here for on on uh, you know a white background with the dark mode enabled i can always go here and you know this is an application I already made a video on this and i can turn on now and it will be black okay so this is useful if you want go ahead put on the comments and uh, i will try and make a video on useful mac apps okay so this is what i what i use now the things that uh, are not yet fixed as always the pdf when you want to highlight it is this dark blue not good at all okay guys for me this is not acceptable acceptable for the fourth beta now um and uh, you know they have to fix this in order for us to make presentations if we want to highlight something to show uh, this is not possible with this color okay so not fixed one of the issues that i had on beta 2 now that my dark mode is enabled let's go ahead and disable this turn off um one of the things that I had 
is when I zoomed in with the control and my uh, mouse uh, wheel uh, and then zoom out the safari uh, uh, you know crashed so uh, I had to you know force quit and re-enable that again so now I was testing you know on the, this few minutes everything seems to be running okay without any issues so I hope it still remains like that regarding the YouTube thing that I had it was you know fixed uh, on the beta 2 for example let's go to my my uh, my videos not to have here any uh, copyright you know let me go here to my videos okay very well let me go here to the um, let me go here to this one so i had the the issue of uh, let me put this on mute when i went to you know full screen and then i went i escape key uh, you know this was a, a mess and everything seems to be okay since beta 2 and it was not initially resolved but you know uh, after a while everything seems to be working well with this new youtube layout but you cannot scroll down okay guys you cannot scroll down like you could when you had full screen okay with your mouse will scroll down to see the comments on full screen that's not enabled on safari okay guys so this is fixed and uh, guys for now there isn't anything that i you know after searching for a little while on new uh, des desktop dynamic desktop pictures nothing new here no new wallpapers but uh, you know for you guys that like wallpapers uh, nothing new on the general uh, again i'm waiting uh, for you know uh, uh, light modes only with the dark uh, menu bar and dark uh, dock like it was on the past i would like apple to you know put that uh, enabled but it isn't there are tweaks that we can do that but you know um, as stock as it is it is not possible and now guys everything seems to be working uh, without any flaws uh, of course if there is anything you know um, severe with the system uh, i'll keep you updated once again many of you ask me about the parallels and uh, i didn't add uh, you know the the virtual uh, um, you know desktop uh, operating systems i have here uh, windows and also uh, linux uh, everything seems to be working without any issues so if i power this let's go ahead just for you to, to check everything seems to be working without any issues let's go ahead wait a little bit and let's go ahead windows mm. it will be nice if you had a problem with parallels no you haven't everything seems to be working okay okay now guys this is uh, what i have to show you on this initial video again if i have any major um, or something major happening here with this beta 3 i'll keep you updated in a new video of course we are also waiting for the ios 12.2 beta uh, 3 also uh, it wasn't released today at this point so uh, a new video of course is coming uh, when apple released that update guys thank you so much once again for stopping by all the best keep safe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye